I did a, a, an interview with someone and they said, you know, Rachel, I don't think you realize this, but you've made it in two industries that are so hard to make it in. And she's right. The, the TV industry is cutthroat. And I was blessed to be a TV anchor for 17 years. I will never take that for granted. But now I'm making it as an artist. And this industry is so hard and there's so many people and there's so much talent, but I'm making it here too. And I don't take that for granted for one second. And I am just, man, I'm living the American dream. I consider myself a modern coastal artist. I've just kind of been so inspired since moving here to Southwest Florida by everything around us. Beautiful beaches and shells and birds and manatees. I was so inspired by it. And that just kind of naturally had me painting things, featuring these wonderful things around us. I do oil, I do acrylic, I do bright colors, I do monochromatic. It's always fun, it's always lively, it's always positive. And not only when I see them hanging it up in their house, but when they when they cry, when they see it for the first time and how it, it moves them, it is such an honor. That's something that I made, they want in their living room, they want on their boat, they want in their bedroom. You know, it's something that they're gonna see every single day. And it's unbelievable. So I start off with this very modern flowing backdrop. Once I see that, and I got the colors right, or the, the, the flow is right. Then I just look at it and I'll just think on it. And then I decide, you know, is, is it an underwater scene where I put uh, seahorses or manatees or sea turtles, or, or is it a shoreline with little shorebirds like sandpipers? But it's really fun to just let what I created already be my inspiration for the finished piece. As a TV anchor, you get asked to MC a lot of events. And I always wanted to give back, but writing a check for every single event when you're doing 50 events is a lot. And I was doing an event for the Ronald McDonald House and it was celebrity platter painting. And I painted a crab. And someone's like, wow, that's really good. I'm like, thank you. The next year they did it again. I painted a conch shell. And someone sitting at the table said, hey, I have an upcoming event. Will you paint a painting for our event that we can auction off? And I said, sure, I did that. Another event saw it. I did one for their event. And pretty soon when I ended up seeing events, they were just asking me to create art for them. Well, then people weren't winning the, the bid on the item and they started coming to me and saying, well, can I buy a piece? And within a year, I was quitting my job as a TV anchor, something that I've been doing for 17 years. And now I'm a full-time artist. I think my life experiences all before this, you know, being in TV journalism for 19 years, being a marathon runner, raising four children, small children uh, right now, has all set me up to be a successful artist and why I think my art business took off so quickly. All of that put together makes me so that I can put in long hours in the studio and create and be creative because that's the time I have right now and I need to get it done. And I don't think it stifles my creativity, it just lets me be so focused. And I think that's what has really set me up to be successful. I, in my whole life, I've never articulated my goals and dreams because I was so afraid of what other people would think of me. So afraid of people that say like, wow, who she to think she is? Or, well, she's not that good. But you know what? I am getting all those thoughts out and I'm dreaming big. I wanna be in stores. I wanna be where you pick up a note card and it's my art on it. You pick up stationery, you pick up a bedspread, you pick curtains, clothing, hats, prints, original art, of course, still. But I wanna go big. I wanna be, I wanna be everywhere. I think my art is happy and I think this world needs a lot of happiness. I encourage you watching whoever you are, you know, join me on my journey. I want you to, to follow me on social media, um, follow me wherever, encourage me when you can, because I'm probably gonna need it along the way. And, you know, be part of my story. I, I'm, I'm just kind of starting out on this art journey and you can be part of it.